You're checking out of our five-star establishment? I'll be back for outpatient counseling, but yeah, Keenan's releasing me. Good. Then we can, um, discuss the drugs that you stole from the hospital. You're right. I stole amphetamines from the supply closet. Mm-hmm. I almost reported Ramon for those stolen drugs, and I didn't because you defended him. You know that he could have lost his job. I would like to believe that if it got that far, to come forward. But to be honest, I was a mess, so I'm not sure. Well, at least you admit it. I'm clean now. I need to take responsibility for what I did. I betrayed your trust. I violated hospital policy, and I broke the law. Yes, you did, doctor. So you need to do what you need to do. And if Monica fires me, or if she calls the police, it's what I deserve. How many times did I come over to your house, huh? And you sat there on that couch and lied right to my face. Then you come back to work before you're ready. Then I find out that you're operating on patients under the influence. You better be glad that nothing happened Tiffany, in that OR. I was not using in the OR. That was the only place that I felt like I had control. But I was using everywhere else, at home, and any other place that reminded me of Robin. You've been through an awful lot. But that does not excuse your actions. I'm not making excuses, but it's important to me that you know that I didn't jeopardize any patients. What about jeopardizing yourself? Hmm? Your daughter. Your friends, colleagues. Yeah, I was wrong. And I let everybody down, including you. Well, my hurt feelings are the last of your, your problems. I couldn't face it, Epiphany. I couldn't admit that I needed help. Robin always said I was arrogant. Well, it turns out I'm selfish and irresponsible on top of it. So now you gotta pay the price. Yeah, you're right. So you wanna go to Monica together? Who said anything about going to Dr. Quartermain? You admitted to stealing the drugs. You went through detox, your recovery. Now you have to prove yourself. And you're gonna have to apologize to a lot of people. I think that's enough of a burden without adding the chief of staff to things. What are you saying? Dr. Quartermain trusts me to make the right decisions. But let me tell you something, Doctor. I will be watching you like a hawk. And the minute that I think that you are relapsing or jeopardizing any patient or yourself, I will go to Dr. Quartermain and I will report you so fast that you will not have time to take off your lab coat before that door closes behind you. Are we clear? We're clear. Thank you for your faith. Good. Welcome back, Dr. Drake. Thank you. I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't come back to work. Don't kid yourself. Even with a job, it's not going to be easy. But don't forget that you have friends, right? I'm your friend. I'm a good listener, even though I throw in my two cents every once in oh, a while. Two cents. Be good if it stopped at two cents. Usually it's 200, sometimes 2,000 cents. Well, you would like every single one of them, wouldn't you? Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. You know, we've come a long way. We couldn't stand me in the beginning, but now I think we have like a, a good thing happening here. What do you mean in the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> I had your number the minute you walked into this hospital. You were arrogant. You were demanding. You thought that you were God's answer to surgeons everywhere. And if you weren't as good as you thought you were, I wouldn't have put up with any of it. Right, so you only love me for my skill. Is that it? <laughs> You're my friend, Drake Jr. And I would be 
deeply disappointed if my friend didn't come to me when he needed help. Oh, you can count on it. I'll be coming to you because I don't plan on relapsing. One day at a time. Isn't that what they say? One day at a time. I just got to figure out how to face those days without Robin. I started using because I couldn't function without Robin. I'd get up in the morning and I'd have to take care of Emma and have to get to work. I'd do all the things in the middle that Robin used to do that I didn't even realize until she was gone. Well, you know you had people that would help you with yeah, that. Yeah, I understand that. I mean, Elizabeth helped out so much with Emma taking her to daycare and the night, late nights that I was working. I had Matt, Maxie, Anna, Mac, but it didn't matter. I'd wake up in the morning and if I actually got sleep, it would feel like there was a massive hole in front of me and I didn't know how to get to the other side. You know that the drugs just dug that deeper. Yeah, I know that. Now I know that. To be honest, I'm actually scared to go home. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, you're right. I have to acknowledge those feelings. And I have to remind myself what I tell Emma that Robin is there and she's taking care of us and that she wants us to be happy, but I don't know if it's possible to be happy when you've got a broken heart. First, you gotta let it heal. Well, I think that started. You know, I used to think about Robin felt more like torture. Now it's a little more comfort. That's a blessing. I gotta do what Robin would want. I gotta let her rest in peace. I've got everything you need right here, doctor. Come here. Daddy. Hi, baby. Mm. Should I tell Mac that you don't need him to pick her up from daycare? Mm, yes. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Come here. Daddy. Yes, sweetheart. Why did you have to stay here so long? Were you sick? Yeah, I was. I was sick, but I'm all better now, okay? And I'm sorry that I was here for so long. I know you missed me at home, but it's never gonna happen again. Are you gonna die like mommy? I'm not gonna die, Emma. Promise? Yes, I promise. And I know you miss mommy. And I miss her so much that I got sick, but I'm better now. And all those things are true that I said, right? That she's watching over us. And she loves us so much, she's always gonna take care of us. And we have to remember her like that. We have to remember all those good times and all those happy memories that we have. Like when she would brush your hair when you got out of the bathtub. And when we got to stay in our pajamas late oh, on Sundays. The best, right? She invented pajama Sundays. She had so much love for us, and we have to keep that in our hearts. And we have to help each other with that, okay? Okay. So you remind me, and I remind you. Deal? Yeah. Deal. Good girl. <laughs> so what do we say? We get out of here, right? Yeah. We'll get some... Some ice cream? How about a big ice cream sundae from Kelly's? Like the biggest one you've ever seen. Just you and me, Daddy. Yes, baby. Just me and you. Okay? Mm -hmm.